Welcome back to Move With Nicole. Today's class is a power Pilates class using a light set of hand weights. But don't worry if you don't have a set of weights as you can still enjoy the class without them. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start standing at the back of our mat with our feet hip distance apart. Reach your arms up to the sky and interlace your fingers. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, side bend to the left. Crossing your right foot behind your left, bending your knees to feel a deeper stretch. Then inhale through center, exhale, side bend to the right, crossing your left foot behind your right. Then return through center, release your arms, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, lower, tuck your chin in and roll down over your legs, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Inhale at the bottom, then exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra. And again, big breath in, reach your arms up, exhale, release, tuck your chin in and roll down. Inhale at the bottom, Exhale, scoop the belly and roll up. One more, inhale. And exhale, roll down. Beautiful. Walk your hands forward now, coming into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal your heels, alternate bending one knee at a time as you push the floor away from you, lengthening through your spine. Then gently press both heels down towards the floor. On your inhale, ripple forward to plank, shoulders over wrists. Then exhale, press back to down dog. And again, inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, press back. Two more, moving with your breath. And last one, inhale and exhale. Ripple forward to plank again, really engaging through your core. Then exhale, pull your left knee to your chest. Inhale, lower the knee down. Exhale, kick your right leg back. And then inhale, set your right foot down. So you pull your left knee up, lower, then kick your back leg and lower. Let's do six more like this. As you pull your left knee in towards your chest, really lift up through your belly button and press down with your shoulders. This is a great way to wake up the whole entire body. Let's do two more. And last one. Beautiful, hold your right leg lifted, tap your foot to the left, Lift, then tap to the right and lift. Inhale as you tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Six more of these rainbow legs. And four. Make them as big as you can. Two more. And last one. Hold your leg through center and give me 10 pulses. You lift and lift really squeezing through the base of your right glute. Just four more, three, two, and one. Set your right foot down, pull your left knee in towards your chest, and then press back to a three-legged dog, opening your left hip and bending your knee. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, drop your back knee and open through your chest as you sink your hips low. Then reach your left arm up and back, finding a beautiful twist through your spine. Return your hand to the floor, tuck your back toes under and press back to your downward facing dog. Walk your hands now back towards your feet Scoop your belly and roll up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen through your spine and exhale, release. With your feet hip distance in parallel, let's bring our hands to prayer and inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, exhale, press. 
eight more like this. Really shift your weight back into your heels, sending your glutes far behind you and keep drawing your navel up towards your spine. Just three more. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. And last one, good job. Hold low in your squat, reach your arms by your ears, swing your arms back as you lift your heels, then swing your arms forward as you lower your heels. So your heels lift and lower as you reach your arms back and forward. This really requires a lot of balance. So find a spot on the floor in front of you to help keep your balance. Really draw your navel in and keep sitting your hips nice and low. Let's do two more. And last one. Hold your heels down and let's take little pulses down and down. Just eight more, seven. Keep reaching through your fingertips. Four more, three, two, and a one. Place your hands on top of your thighs and roll your spine up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release and roll down. Walk your hands forward again, this time coming into your plank position. Really draw your navel in and slightly tuck your hips under. Inhale, press back, down dog. Exhale, plank. Inhale, press back. Exhale, shift forward. Moving a little bit faster this time, just to really make sure that we're nice and warm. Let's do four more. And three, really press through your shoulders. Two, and a one. Hold in your plank. This time, exhale, pull your right knee to your chest. Inhale, lower the knee down. Exhale, kick your left leg back, and inhale, lower. And again, exhale, pull, inhale, lower. Exhale, kick, inhale, lower. Six more like this. Moving at your own pace, really concentrating on connecting your breath with your movement. Exhale, pull, inhale, lower. Exhale, kick, inhale, lower. Let's do one more. Good job, hold your left leg back. Let's take those rainbow legs, tap to the right, lift, tap to the left, and lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Six more. And five. Can you make the rainbow a little bit bigger? Two more. And last one. Hold through center and give me those pulses. Four, ten. And nine, really squeezing through the base of your left glute. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your left foot down, pull your right knee into your chest, and then extend your right leg back for a three-legged dog. Open your hip and bend your knee. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, drop your back knee and open through your heart. Sinking your hips low, feeling a beautiful stretch. Then reach your right arm up and back, looking over your right shoulder. Then return your hand to the mat, tuck your back toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees and roll up to standing. Big breath in, reach your arms up and exhale, release. Let's pick up our weights now and get ready for our lunge series. So step your left foot forward and your right foot back and release your arms down by your sides with your palms facing inwards. As you lunge down, bend your elbows, press your arms up, bend and extend. So bicep curl, press your arms up, re-bend your elbows, and then extend them down by your sides. Nice inhale as you lunge down, exhale as you press up. Keep going. 
Make sure that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle and that your hips are underneath your shoulders, keeping your spine straight. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold a low in your lunge and take a little presses up and up as you lunge down and down. Make sure that your elbows are not flaring open. You wanna keep them in. Let's do two more and last one. Lower your elbows down by your waistline. Lean forward, extend your arms back and then return to your lunge. So you extend back and lunge as you hinge forward, straighten your right leg and then re-bending your knee. As you lean forward, really focus on lengthening through your spine and drawing your belly button in. Just three more. And two. And last one, hold in your hinge and let's just do tricep extensions. You bend your elbows and extend. Bend and extend as you tap your right foot forward and back. Just six more and five. Really pull those elbows back as far as you can. Three, keep your left knee bent. Two and a one. Hold everything back and take a little lifts with the arms. You lift and lift. Eight more. Seven, you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, step your right foot forward and let's squat it out. So inhale, squat down, exhale, punch across. Inhale, squat, exhale, punch. Eight more like this. Really sit those hips down nice and low. Six more. Inhale, squat, exhale, punch. Four more, then we'll lose the squat and just punch it out. Two more. Here we go, just punch it out. You punch and punch eight more seven then we'll speed it up five four three two and one bend your knees and let's speed it up you punch 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 i really want you to tighten your core so draw your navel in and punch it like you mean it you can do it ten more nine eight seven six five four three two one excellent job shimmy those shoulders and let's now step back with our left foot getting ready for our lunge let's lunge down bicep curl press your arms back bend and extend so inhale as you lunge down exhale as you press up move at your own pace here always focusing on that control and your good technique. So make sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and that your spine is straight. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold a low in your lunge and take those pulses. You press your arms up and up as you pulse down and down. Just four more. Three, two, and one. Lower your elbows down by your side. On your inhale, lean forward, straighten your back leg, reach your arms back, exhale, lunge. Inhale, lean forward, exhale, lunge. Eight more. Keep your right knee nice and bent, really working into your right glute. You've got it. Lengthen through your spine as you lean forward. Three more. Two. And a one. Hold in your hinge, bend your elbows, extend as you tap your left foot forward and back. Eight more. Can you pull those elbows back a little bit more? Six. And five. Keep bending into your right knee. Four. Three more, you can do it. Two and a one. Hold everything back and lift those arms 
up and up. Eight more, really roll your shoulders back. Six, five, little higher, four, three, two, and one. Well done, let's return to those squats and punches. Inhale, squat down, exhale, punch across. Inhale, squat, exhale, punch. Eight more, then we'll lose the squat and just do those punches. Can you squat down a little bit further? Four more. Two more. Getting ready just for those punches. Here we go. You just punch and punch. Beautiful. Six more to go. Five, four, then we speed it up. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Bend those knees, punch it out. You punch, 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 punch. Engage your core. That way you're really working into your obliques. You can do it. Keep your energy levels up and keep breathing. You are almost there. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Lower your weights to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up, keeping your feet nice and wide. Then exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, hinge forward over your legs. Just feeling a beautiful stretch for your shoulders, your spine, and your legs. Then carefully release your hands to the floor and let's lower down now onto our knees and come onto our glutes. Let's place the weights to the side, giving our arms a little bit of a break and roll down onto our back for some ab work. Interlace your hands behind your head with your elbows wide and then keeping your right foot on the floor, lift your left leg to tabletop. Then curl your head and shoulders up, keeping your elbows wide. On your inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, re-bend the knee. So inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Now stay with this, or as you bend, see if you can reach forward with your hands. So exhale, reach. Inhale, extend. Exhale, reach. Inhale, extend. You pick whichever option feels best for you. Let's do three more. Can you curl up a little bit higher? Two and one. Hold in your curl and take a little pulses up and up. Option to have your hands behind your head. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one, hold your curl, lift your right leg to tabletop, then inhale, release your head down, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, curl up and extend your legs to the diagonal. So inhale lower, re-bend your knees. Exhale, curl up and extend your legs. We're only gonna do a three more. Really focus on flattening through your abs as you extend your legs out. And last one. Let's hold in our curl and take our hundreds. A short version. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Option to bend your knees if that feels better for you. Just keep breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more rounds. Inhale and exhale. Last round. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Bend your knees. Take little circles if that feels good for you. And then extend your legs long and reach your arms by your ears, getting ready for your roll-ups. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach over your legs, drawing your navel back. Inhale, roll down. And exhale, reach your arms by your ears. And again, inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, roll down. And exhale, reach your arms back. Just two more. Really controlling this movement as best you can. And last one, inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, roll down. And exhale, reach your arms back. Well done. Let's repeat that ab series with the other leg. So interlace your hands behind your head with your elbows wide and lift your right leg to tabletop. Lift your head 
and on your inhale extend your right leg exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend option to add that reach with your arms as you bend your knee if you want a little extra challenge you can do it keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips really using your abs to keep your head and shoulders lifted three more to go and two can you reach a little bit further last one let's hold our curl and take little pulses for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and a one hold your curl lift your left leg to tabletop and then release your head down on your exhale curl up extend your legs to the diagonal and inhale lower down exhale curl up extend your legs inhale lower three more then we go to that short hundred series two more keep flashing through your abs and last one hold your legs extended and pump those arms it's inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five bend your knees if you need to you can do it three more rounds inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five inhale and exhale last one pump those arms inhale and exhale breathe it all out breathe it all out good job hug your knees in turn your head right and left if that feels good for you let's now rock the length of our spine up to seated and take a quick stretch so extend your legs straight inhale reach your arms up and exhale fold forward then reach your arms up to the sky take your hands underneath your shoulders and lift your hips up into a reverse plank one deep breath in and then exhale release down let's now pick up one of our weights and come into a side kneeling position. Place your right hand underneath your right shoulder and extend your left leg long. Hold the weight forward in line with your shoulder with your palm facing down. On your inhale, reach your arm up, exhale lower. Inhale, lift, exhale lower. I really want you to think of drawing your navel in, using your core to stabilize yourself here. As you lower your arm down, you should really feel your core engage as well as your shoulder muscles. Inhale, open, exhale, lower. Two more. And last one. Good job. Hold your arm up. This time, lift your leg lower as you pull your elbow down and reach up. You can do it. Really squeeze your elbow down towards your waistline. Four more three two and a one hold your leg lifted and let's just move the arm you extend and bend extend and bend you can do it keep your left leg nice and lifted really activating your left glute three more to go two and a one hold your arm extended and just lift the leg for eight seven six keep breathing five four three two and one ouch let's place our left foot on the floor now cross your right foot behind your left and push out into your side plank reaching your arm by your ear on your inhale bend your knees reach your arm towards your feet then exhale push out into your side plank and again inhale bend your knees exhale plank just two more you can do it and last one well done holding your plank reach your arm to the sky and lift your hips for ten nine really press down through that right shoulder six more five four three two 
and one. Excellent job, lower your hips down, release the weight for a moment. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, mermaid stretch over to the left. Then take your right forearm down to the floor and stretch your left arm over. And again, reach your right arm by your ear and then take your right forearm to the floor and stretch your left arm over. Beautiful job. Let's now take it to the other side. So grab the weight with your right hand and then reach your arm forward in line with your shoulder. Inhale, lift your arm up, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Just six more. Really try to keep that arm in line with your shoulder as you lower it down and really draw your shoulders down and back. Three more to go, two, and last one, hold your arm lifted. Let's pull our elbow down and extend as we lift our leg up and down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Five more. Keep lifting up through the underside of your waist. Three more, two, and one, hold your leg lifted, just the arm. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Can you keep that right leg lifted a little bit higher, challenging your glutes and your core? Three more to go, you can do it. Two, and one, hold your arm extended. Let's pulse the leg. You lift and lift. Six more, five, keep reaching through that top arm, two, and one, set your right foot down, cross your left foot behind your right, and then push into your side plank. On your inhale, bend your knees, reach for the bottom of the mat, then exhale, push into your side plank. Inhale, bend, exhale, side plank, reaching that arm by your ear. Just two more, you can do it, you are so strong. And last one, hold in your side plank, reach your arm up to the sky and lift those hips for eight, seven, six, five, little higher, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hips down, release the weight, Let's reach that left arm up and over, feeling a beautiful stretch. Then take your left forearm to the floor and reach your right arm over. Really good job, guys. We are almost at the end of class, so stay with me. Let's come onto our hands and our knees and press back to a downward facing duck. Let's take a moment to pedal our heels, alternate bending our knees, releasing any tension. Then walk your hands back to your feet and roll up to standing. Reach your arms up to the sky and let's take some high knees. You lift and lift as you lower your arms down and down. Really pull those knees up nice and high. 10 more, nine, nice and high. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your arms, step your feet out, mat distance apart with your toes turned out, and let's inhale, squat, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, squat, tap, exhale, lift. Option to lift your heels at the top if you want that little extra challenge. Five more, then we're gonna walk our hands forward into a plank. Three, two, and one. Walk your hands forward into your plank, keeping your feet wide. Option one, step your feet in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, or take your jumping jacks. Just four more, three, two, and one. Let's repeat that. Walk your hands back, roll up to standing, and take those squat taps. Last time you do this, you can do it. Squat tap and lift, squat tap and lift. Eight more. This is the final push of class. You are almost done. Five more. And four, release, squeeze your glutes, lift your heels at the top. 
two, and a one. Walk your hands forward, come to your plank, jumping jacks for 10, nine, eight, seven, six more. Then we're just gonna hold in plank, four, three, two, and one. Hold your feet hip distance apart and just breathe in your plank. Tuck your hips under, draw your navel in and press down through your shoulders. Just 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, this is it, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Lower your knees, close your legs together and press back to a well-deserved child's pose. Take deep breaths here, you did so well. Then walk your hands over to the left, feeling a stretch through the right side of your body. Then walk your hands over to the right. Beautiful. Return your hands through center, rest your forehead on the floor, and then reach your arms back, holding on to your heels. Very carefully lift your hips, shifting your weight onto the crown of your head so that you feel a really beautiful stretch for your spine and for your shoulders. Take deep breaths here, just enjoying this stretch. Then carefully release your hips down, reach your arms forward and roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra. Shift your weight onto your glutes now and extend your legs forward. Open your left knee out to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Keep drawing your belly button up as you fold forward from your hips, keeping your spine as straight as you can. Then lift your chest, cross your left foot over your right thigh, bend your knee and shift your hips forward until you feel a beautiful stretch for your left glute. Roll your shoulders back and keep your heart nice and open. Then drop your left foot over to the right, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist to the left. Carefully unwind and let's switch sides. Extend your left leg, open your right knee to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Really flex your left foot, feeling a beautiful stretch through the back of your left leg. Then lift your chest, cross your right foot over your left thigh, bend your left knee and shift your hips forward. Feeling a nice stretch for your right glute. Then carefully drop your right foot to the floor, crossing your right leg over your left. Sit up nice and tall. Then inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist to the right. Gaze over your right shoulder as you take deep breaths. Then carefully unwind and let's come to a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Rest your hands on top of your knees and close your eyes. Carefully drop your left ear down to your left shoulder. Then lower your chin to your chest and roll your head over to the right. One more, lower your chin to your chest Roll your head over to the left. Lower your chin and lift your head straight up. Let's now reach our left arm up and over, feeling a beautiful side bend stretch. And then take it to the other side. Lift your right arm up and over. Beautiful job. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up 
and exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's Power Pilates class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.